Hey friends, what's going on? Jonah Fox here. Today we are going to learn that blues harmonica jam that I just showed you. Here's what you need to know before we begin. First, I'm playing a C harmonica. This is a Honer Special 20, and this jam is in second position, which means on a C harmonica, we're actually playing in the key of G. It uses a mix of two scales, the major and minor pentatonic scales. And this jam does require bends, so you should study up on that. My harmonica accelerator course, which is totally free, and the link's down in the description, will show you how to practice effectively so you can improve your bends learn how to improvise, and so much more. You should know that I am a tongue blocking player, but it shouldn't matter too much if you don't play in a tongue blocking style, just certain things are gonna come more naturally to me because of the way that I play. And finally, tabs are available in the video description so you can use them as a reference. Okay, let's go and get started. So this jam follows a 12 bar blues. And if you wanna learn more about that, I have a lesson that I will link at the end of today's video. This groove here is a little relaxed and it can be a little tricky to count, or at least know when to start counting because the first little bit, this, that part is a pickup. So you don't start counting until after the pickup, okay? So let's learn the pickup first. Here we go. We start with one draw and we play it three times. Okay. That's the rhythm. And then we follow that up with two blow and three blow. So the whole first part sounds like this. Okay, that is the end of the pickup. So this next chord that we're going to starts on the downbeat where you would start counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, if you do that, it will match up with a standard 12 bar blues progression. So after the pickup, we play a double stop or a two note chord, that's what a double stop is, on three and four draw. So we go like that. I really like this chord. I usually think of this as a G chord. You're just leaving out the root note. Okay, so the first part together with the pickup and then the chord sounds like this. Okay, here's it one more time. And you can add some hand effects on those chords. I like doing that. After this run, I do a simple chord shuffle between G, which is your draw chord, on the low holes, holes one, two, and three, and a C, which is your blow chord. Okay? And the progression here would sound like this. Draw, draw, blow, blow, draw. It has a bit of a swing to it, so try to catch it. So I'll play it twice for you. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so here's that whole first part. Here we go. Okay, now we are going to move on to the next part. And this starts with a tricky bit of bending. So this is where both scales, the major and minor pentatonic scales start to mix. We start with three whole step draw bend. Okay, and then we're gonna release that bend a little bit up to three half step draw bend. And then we're going to drop back down to the three whole step draw bend. Okay. And you don't need to be like 100% accurate here. The effect will come through if you're at least hitting those bends somewhat close. After that, you slide over to two draw, and then you play two blow. Okay? 
okay? And then you resolve this phrase on two draw. And then you would follow it up with our chord shuffle that we just did. Let me play what we have so far. Here we go. All right, so the next four bars start with the four chord in the 12 bar blues progression. So we are going to move to a C chord. Okay, so that's your blow chord all across the harmonica. And we are going to start with the pickup phrase again. And then follow it up with a C chord, which is just one, two, and three blow. And then we are going to do a little bit of a rhythmic thing here. What I'm doing specifically after I do the pickup is I am saying this underneath what I'm playing. I'm making this articulation. I'm going ta shaka ta ta ta. Again, ta shaka ta ta ta. Okay, so the whole rhythmic phrase here would go like this. Okay, so that is the rhythm. Try to just focus on, again, you can rewind this video to learn different parts if you're having trouble. So I hope you got that. Let's go play that, and then we go back to the original bending riff and the original shuffle that we just did in the first part. So that would sound like this. Okay, so that is part two. That's the second four bars here. So here is what we have up to this point. All right, let's go learn the last four bars. We start with the same pickup phrase. But instead of playing the G chord or the C chord, we're going to go to the minor five chord instead, which is on four and five draw. Okay, that's a D minor, okay? Now, generally in a 12 bar blues, we would use a major five chord, which would be a D major, but we don't have one on harmonica, so we play the minor one. And because it's a two note chord, we're calling this a double stop, okay? So it's a D minor double stop. So that phrase here would start like this. Okay. And then after that chord, we're going to move between the four and five draw like this. Okay. So four draw, five draw, four draw. That little lick there. It's just an easy way to stay on the five chord harmony. After that, we are moving to the four chord, which is the C. So when I go to the C chord, I am going to start with the root note, and then I'm going to play the full chord right after. So the root note is four blow, and then I'm a tongue blocking player, so in this part, I just lift up my tongue so I let holes one, two, and three blow kind of sound through. Now, if you are a puckering player, you can just widen up your armature and play the full chord. So that little transition here would sound like. Okay. Finally, I end on a turnaround, which goes like this. Which is the most fun and probably challenging bit of this whole jam. What we're gonna do first is slide up or glissando up to six blow. And a glissando is just where you're blowing and you're moving the harmonica across, ending on whatever desired hole you want. So in this case, six blow. Okay, so we start with that glissando and then we go down the blues scale. So we go in six blow, then five draw four draw, four blow, three half step draw bend, 
two draw, two draw again. The whole turnaround together sounds like this. After the turnaround, I finish again on the chord shovel that we've been playing. So I know that there's a lot here. So let me go play the last four bars again for you. And then we're going to play this song again, the first section, second section, third section. And then I'm going to play the whole thing together at a couple different tempos. So here is the final four bars, just so you get this part in your head. Here we go, here's the pickup. <laughs> All right, so here is the whole first section before we review. Remember, tabs are down below in the video description, okay? Here's the first four bars starting on the pickup, and then after the pickup, you just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just like that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Here's that part again. Okay, here's the next four bars with the pickup. Here's that again. And here's the final four bars, also starting on the pickup. And again. All right, here is the whole thing starting pretty slow, and then we'll do a little bit faster, okay? So here we go. Two, three, four, one. <laughs> All right, here's a little bit faster. And here's it a little bit faster than that. I hope you enjoyed this jam. If you want to learn another, then you can click up here. And if you want to learn more about the 12 bar blues, if you want to get that structure in your head, then click up here. All right, that's it for today. Jonah out.